today I am going to show you how to make these super cute hungry pumpkin clippy sets which are perfect for Halloween. Excuse the extra clip on the back, it was from where I was taking my photos yesterday. But this is what they look like and like I said they've got the little fillable shaker and if any of you actually purchased the fillable ribbon last year and don't know what to do with it, this is what I've been using mine for because I've been using this clear bit of the fillable ribbon because like I said I brought about six or seven different colours last year and I think I used made like three bows out of it and decided that it wasn't for me but I'm a hoarder so this is what happened so I decided to repurpose this because the original tutorial that I was looking at was a version of this that I've seen a lot of the ladies been uh, doing recently only they don't have the centre on theirs so I thought to myself what would happen if I filled that instead of just doing the flowers or the um trim around the edge so this is what I came up with and I've also done a couple of smaller versions because this works with any shape and you can also freehand I'm going to be using the big shot um, mainly because my freehand cutting is not always amazing but you could literally cut any shape um, and do this technique as long as you sort of stay within the either three inch ribbon like I have which is this or if you've got any translucent plastic like this a bit bigger as long as you've got enough to do the size that you want you could make any sort of design and freehand it yourself so i've got these like little orange neon pumpkins and i've got these glittery versions as well and i've also got these super cute this is my halloween confetti again i brought this with a fillable ribbon last year um, I got this from Aliexpress, I think it was about £2 for this pack and it's got like a few thousand in and it's got ghosts, pumpkins, bats, some witches and some blue and silver stars in there as well. <laughs> so, first thing I've got out is my big shot and like I said if you need anything like this or the extended plates or anything like that there is links for the UK and US for um, all the different things, all the different um items are featured in the video so like I said if you ever need to purchase anything like I said the links are down below for you let me just move these out of the way a second and this is my a bit of everything die from Jolie the craft store and on this one we've got bunny ears two different types of bunny ears I can't remember what that one is but like I said there's a uh, different they're the inner parts of uh, things a flower which is hat the pumpkin which we're using today moons bat wings, the mouth and eyes of the pumpkin, a lightning strike, two different types of antlers again for Christmas time and holly and like I said there's the two different types of holly leaves so you could layer them or do a single layer and this can be used as obviously the holly dots. So there's that one but because this is an extended die because like I said you get a lot on it you do need your extended plates to use run it through your machine and you will notice this tends to be my bottom plate, this tends to be my top plate, this is quite normal as is the slight bowing on your plates so I guess that happens, it's nothing to be concerned about so let's get our materials obviously the little green bits for the little pumpkin tip we've got this to line our clip later our transparent piece we need a little bit of felt for the back and obviously the orange to Cut our pumpkins. Now I don't waste material so we're only going to cut a piece that is big enough to cut our pumpkin out of. Is that going to be enough? Yep that's going to be enough. So like I said only do a square that's big enough for your actual pumpkin you don't want to go massively overboard. Okay, so we've got a square for our, and do the same amount in our felt. And because the felt and the um, refillable ribbon is very thin, we can run them all through at once. Obviously, if you were using thicker materials, I wouldn't. I would rarely put more than two layers through, so you don't damage the machine. But you can do, like I said, because it's so thin, it barely. So I mean. Let's take that, cut that, put that that way. So we've got all three pieces the same size. 
I'm going to freehand cut that later. So we want to pop those over our area that we need. Pop those bits out of the way. This plate goes underneath the die. This one over the top. When I'm placing it in, I hold it down where so this is the other thing I also check before you actually run it through the machine double check that when you've moved it to that position that your materials haven't slipped and that they're definitely going to cut the piece that you want and not sort of any movement or anything like that because you don't want it to have shifted and you need to be cutting half of a, a witch's hat instead of a pumpkin and wasting your material especially if you've only got a small amount and then we just turn the handle which is out the side over here and just turn that through cut and just keep rolling until it comes through the other side and then lift your plates out of the way and there's your transparent piece and we can put the in, this bit in the bin. They're the extra bits of the little witch's hat that it cut as well. And then we've got our lovely neon pimp pumpkin and our felt the exact same underneath. Put that in my scrap box, put those out of the way. Take those pieces, I can just put them on the side, I'm just going to pause a second. So back, just move the big shot out of the way, just so we can see everything else. And the other thing is I've got my little wooden board in me, because I'm going to be using my confetti. I use that so I can tip things back if I get any confetti all over the place rather than just on my desk. So like I said, now we're going to create this little bit. And the first thing I'm going to do is we've got this little bit of green and we're going to obviously use that for the little pump pumpkin top. So I'm just going to take this what you want to do is turn it over so it's this side we're just going to take a pencil and draw around that so that we've got our little green stem or stalk And you can also see I've got my E6000 glue out. Now you can glue this with your glue gun. It does work. You just have to work a lot faster. And I like to adjust my confetti a little bit. So I prefer the E6000 glue. So we've got our transparent layer. The other thing I do with the transparent layer is I'm going to cut the stalk off. And just so the edges glue a little bit better so we've got less of a layer between the felt and the leatherette i'm just going to fold this in half and we're just going to trim round not a lot just a teeny little couple of millimeters around the edge so that it doesn't move and the confetti won't slip out especially if you use any of the smaller kinds but enough just so it's a tiny bit smaller than the felt bottom. Okay, so like I said, we've got our E6000 glue. I'm going to move that clear piece out of there and that one there. Okay, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to take this piece, which is the main pumpkin, this is going to be the top layer. So fold this in half, and this will be the same to all your shapes. Fold it in half and you want sort of half a centimetre and you just want to cut whatever shape you want to cut into your, whether or not you do the same shape as your whatever item you've cut or whether or not you do a different shape to show off the transparent bit. So like I said, cut a nice shape there. So you've got this, so this is going to be Felt, transparent, and this one on top. 
there we go so got our confetti and I will show you these are actually really cool as well because they are a little bit thicker than some confetti and a little bit bigger if you wanted to you could actually use them as decorations for Halloween bows I think they'd look really cute see got a little witch cute pumpkins ghost bats what else was there go blue star silver stars and yeah that's all those so bats witches pumpkins and blue and silver stars but like i said they're so cute and like i said they are all reasonable sizes they're all about one centimeter to like half a centimeter in size so we're just going to take a few of these i tend to put more pumpkins in than anything else because obviously i think it's funny that the pumpkins eaten pumpkins if that makes sense mainly because i'm a bit warped that's how we go keep them away from the edge you don't want them too close i'm going to put some more bats in i think Bats and pumpkins. I don't put too many of the ghosts in because obviously it looks a bit weird with the other items in there. To stick to my fingers. Got a little bit of static going. Uh, add in a witch. I'm just going to add in a couple more pumpkins. I'm going to add a few stars so like I said, i've not done those purposely not done it too close to the edge and i've not overfilled it because like i said we don't want it to sort of come away from the sides so i'm going to take a glue and you can use any sort of um this fabric glue that dries clear and doesn't sort of leak into as long as it dries clear and is fast drying you'll be absolutely fine with any of these fabric whether or not you've got E6000, E8000 or B7000 or any of the high tack fabric glues be careful of overdoing it you don't want a lot of glue and again this is why I haven't used the glue gun because like I said it does take a little bit of and I quite often do things like that where I move it slightly when I'm gluing so then I use where is it? my little thread picker if anything moves. Move those back away from the edge. Put your transparent layer on so it traps that between there. And then we're going to put some glue on this bit as well. And again, that stopped not getting my, my get me getting glue on my desk as well. Put quite a big, uh, a nice layer on this so it's round all the edges as well so this glues together nicely and I'm also going to use some clips and I usually keep mine clipped together for about 24 hours just so that the layers stick nicely and they're not going to fall out and the transparent layer sticks between the two pieces of material nicely so we don't want for them to open up so like I said completely and utterly glue that I'm going to get a couple of my little helper clips just here. Watch glue on your fingers. Layer this over. What I'm also going to do is I'm just going to cut that. little bit off there and then we're going to glue our there. glue our little stem there there we go and take some clips go 
there. Click there. One there. And one here. And that just holds them together while they are gluing like this. Move those out of the way. We're going to line our clip. And again, I'm using a slightly bigger one than normal. This is a 60 millimeter clip instead of the standard sort of 45 that I use because like I said the pumpkin it is five and a half centimeters which is just over two and a little bit inches long and about an inch and a half in height so like I said we need a slightly bigger one what we do is take our little piece of nine millimeter ribbon and obviously I've got a nice orange to match the pumpkin we're going to put a dot of glue here just on that side of the clip and place this here don't overload the amount of glue that you put you want to keep it nice and flat to the clip that out of the way put a drop of glue either side of the clip in the middle I take one of these again to get this in the right area and I also use it to push the 9mm ribbon into that inner part of the clip and then I put my thumbnail in the centre there and then I can put a thin layer of glue across the top. You don't want a lot and then pull this tight across and use your thumb to rub it down and this will stop you getting a like ridge of glue marks so you won't get any like lumps of glue underneath it flattens them out and keeps the ribbon nice and flat against the clip cut sort of a centimeter a centimeter and a half extra heat seal that too and then we're going to put a bit of glue here and we'll fold that over into the clip and again you don't want tons of glue you just want enough for it to stick without overdoing just place that in there and pinch that in there you go nicely half line clip that is enough of a hold for me for now like i said normally i would do that longer as you can see if there's any sort of edges or anything like that what you can do is just give them a little trim so they can't be seen once you're happy with everything you can take your clip work out where you want it and then we just want some glue there and we can see we've got a little bit of an edge here as well so give that a little trim now and there is our little pumpkin shaker hungry hungry pumpkin like i said you can do this with any of these kind of shapes like i said you can freehand cut your own you can use other shapes i was contemplating doing a butterfly but my sister's got the butterfly die at her house but i made these love hearts and obviously i use this um trim i added a little bow to the clip on this one same with this one did a little heart again i've got another little heart shape here with different confetti in same with this one i did sort of purple and pink to match this one and they are from my pixie dot tinker die so like i said that's the star and the heart from the pixie tinker die as is that one um this one was a freehand heart that i cut as well and it's the same principle for all all of these so like I said, you can have fun, you can use this. It's a great way of repurposing any of that refillable ribbon that you might have had from before. And like I said, have fun, enjoy yourself. I'm going to put my clips back on my new version so my edges don't come apart. 
like I said, I leave mine for 24 hours, so I'll just pop that on there so that dries out. So thank you for watching. If you need any more help or advice or anything like that, I have my Facebook group and page, and you can pop over there and speak to me and chat to me and all the other little group members that are always about to help and talk to each other. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.